covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The world's very first 3D bioprint lab-grown ribeye steak. I'll tell you all about it in a moment, but first, if you enjoy your weekly tech news with a slight Linux bias, become part of our fleet. Choose your rank at patreon.com slash category5. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to catch the stories we cover each week. I'd also appreciate it if you'd give this video a big thumbs up to show us that you like what we're doing. On with the story. A little more than a year ago, Robbie, Jeff, and Sasha stood in Studio D and talked about a plant-based pork substitute by Impossible Foods that was unveiled at CES in Las Vegas back in January 2020. It was created in a lab using extracted soy protein and heme, a plant-derived iron molecule that provides a meaty taste and scent similar to animal-derived iron. And while this food tech breakthrough is indeed a promising product for vegetarians and vegans alike, meat eaters worldwide are still not ready to trade in their beef and pork for a plant-based alternative. But what if the meat alternative was also made of meat? Huh? Well, the world's very first lab-cultivated 3D bioprinted ribeye steak has been unveiled in Israel this month. It was created by Aleph Farms LTD and the Faculty of Biomedical Engineering at Technion, Israel Institute of Technology. Unlike regular 3D printing, which uses plastic or ink to build an object, 3D bioprinting uses cells, and in this case, actual cow cells. We've successfully produced the first pieces of beef steak grown from natural cells without harming any animals. Meat is a complex tissue. This breakthrough includes various cell types found in conventional cuts of meat grown together outside the animal to form a 3D structure similar to meat, but using more sustainable, safe, and ethical methods. These first cell-based meat cuts demonstrate our capability of achieving our vision of growing steaks. This meat had a great look and the original texture of a steak. Finally, meat you can enjoy that's good for your health and the planet from Aleph Farms. Our 3D bioprinting technology is the printing of actual living cells that are then incubated to grow, differentiate, and interact in order to acquire the texture and qualities of real steak, Aleph Farms said in a recent statement. A proprietary system similar to the vascularization that occurs naturally in tissues enables the perfusion of nutrients across the thicker tissue and grants the steak with the similar shape and structure of its native form as found in livestock before enduring cooking. This specialized process of literally growing steak in a lab instead of on a farm uses only a fraction of the resources needed for raising cattle and doesn't require any antibiotics or fetal bovine serum. Natural pluripotent stem cells can be grown in larger quantities. Didier Tubia, the co-founder and CEO of Aleph Farms, explains. These cells can multiply efficiently and can mature into the cell types that make up meat, like muscle and fat cells. It is enough for us to harvest the cells once from a cow, and the procedure we use is non-invasive. In scale, the ALF Farms cultivation facilities, aptly named BioFarms, will be similar to yogurt factories. Though their goal is to have a wide variety of bioprinted steak cuts available in the marketplace by the second half of 2022, they will first need to acquire approval from the FDA and the U.S. Department of Agriculture before they can sell in the U.S. Tubia said, We believe the U.S. is well positioned to be one of the first countries in the world to clear cultivated meat. We have had interactions with the FDA and the USDA. In an interview with the Washington Post, Tubia also had this to say. With cows, the breed has a role, but the quality comes from the feed. With our cultivated meat, it is similar. We control the cultivation process and we can design meat specifically for a market, adjusting the amount of collagen and connective tissues in fat to tailor meat to specific requirements. Last month, Aleph Farms and Mitsubishi Corporation's Food Industry Group jointly signed a Memorandum of Understanding in Japan. The plan is for the two companies to work together once market approval is procured, with Aleph Farms providing its biofarm technology and Mitsubishi handling the manufacturing and distribution. 3D printed steak. Like we're talking, okay, we've talked about it in the past. Becca mentioned that uh, last year we did talk about a plant-based um, simulated pork. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. But this is completely different. This is legit beef. This is real meat that has been basically grown in, in a way that has not harmed any animals and yeah. then 3D printed. So they can create, the, you know, the, the right marbling, the, the texture, the flavor. Yep. It, it is meat. Yeah. And if you're somebody who's conscious about how animals are treated, it's done in an ethical way, non-invasive. They've cultured some cells and now they're growing it. Yeah. And so what comes after that is like, you know, that cow's walking away happy, eating in the field, doing Annoying his thing. Different. And his cellular offspring are there now being 3D printed into steaks. <laughs> you know, which, 3D printed. Think about which that Which is for a crazy. Second. 3D printed steak. But what I was blown away by with this story is the fact that it looks like a steak. Yeah. It tastes like a Does steak. It? it feels like a steak. That's At least that's what they're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, time will tell. I, I would sign up to try it. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's meat. I got to try it. Like, I mean, and they can create... I wonder what this is going to do to the industry at large. Because the immediate thought that comes to mind is like Wagyu right. beef, right? Yeah. So if they can create that perfectly simulated mar marbling, hmm. not simulated, I, I'm using the phrase simulated, but it's not simulated. No, it's... It's real. Yeah, it's... But it's created it's by humans based upon the how meat what meat is what the yeah. chemical makeup and an actual makeup of meat is mm -hmm. but the fact that you can custom order like that's where they want to get to is custom ordering yeah. your steak so it's like oh i like mine with extra marbling i like oh. mine you know to be I a little like bit my tough. marbling in the shape of my favorite car cartoon character <laughs> you know like that will happen there will i want be a cat five marbled steak oh my goodness that's the next step folks yeah but yeah. the <laughs> one thing about this that i, I maybe it's just branding for me that I kind of went, Oh, is the fact that it was Mitsubishi. They're the ones who are doing the technology and the printing end of things. And I was just mm. like, so take it one step further. And you think about, weird. well, that's weird that a car company would be uh, involved in this. Right. I am wondering if Tesla might take notice. And by Tesla, I mean, <laughs> I mean the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk. And the reason right. I say that is because you start to see connections between his companies. Oh, sure. Absolutely. You see the boring company and Tesla with its batteries and, and solar cells and, and the um, uh, SpaceX, obviously. Yeah. Like all of these things come together for what? A mission to Mars. Right. So thinking of a car company like Tesla picking up on a technology like this, imagine being able to 3D print your meat right. on Mars. Well, and Mars is like, what, a one-year journey, they say, or I think Tesla's made it a little bit faster now with their SpaceX. Um, but, you know, you've got that long journey. You can only have so much food on board. Mm -hmm. But think about the fact that if you could now print your protein for astronauts, True. yes, yeah. all you have to balanced do is have... Balanced diet. It's yeah, a to balanced diet. You can have a cultured factory so to speak, that reduces so much weight because you don't need all that extra dehydrated wow. protein, whatever. Yeah. We're, we're approaching the technology that is absolutely out of sci-fi. Totally. Abs just incredible stuff. I love it. So how do you feel about lab-grown beef and 3D bioprinting? Do you think such advances in food science and technology are necessary for the future sust sustainability of our planet? Do you envision a future like in Star Trek where food replicators everywhere will be able to print not just steaks, but any type of food? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. From the Category 5.TV newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson. Thanks for watching.